Hey, so today we're going to create a JavaScript 3D world in five minutes, give or take. If you've been following this channel, you'll know that you can do some pretty cool stuff in 3D with JavaScript. It's not limited to just crap like cubes and simple shapes. We've built entire worlds, made cool space battles, and even wrote a Minecraft clone. But we all got to start somewhere, so today let's take a step back and make a simple 3D world in JavaScript. What we'll do today is put together a little world with some moving stuff. It will have a nice background, pretty similar to what I use as a starting point for my projects. Starting with a blank slate here, what I'm doing here is creating the directory and the index.html file. Then we can go ahead and load everything up in the editor. We'll use 3JS, which is a great wrapper library around WebGL. I highly recommend it, so that's what this import up here does. There's a bit of setup here that we need to go through, so let's go line by line here. This line sets up the WebGL renderer, which is what displays everything on the screen. And I set a few parameters here, like I want shadows, and so we enable this and choose soft blurry ones because they look nice. We also need to tell 3GS a bit about the screen size and all that stuff. Now there's a couple other things. You need a camera, so we'll create a perspective camera. This is like an abstraction over a real camera, so when you move this around your scene, it's like a movie director moving the camera around. Next, we create a scene, which is like a container for all the objects in our 3D world. Then the last thing we need is some lighting, so I'll make one directional light with shadows, and then some ambient light for the rest of the scene. And you'll notice here on this line that I add it to the scene. Right now, this code does nothing on its own, so we need to make a render function and call it using request animation frame. These lines do that. We can call request animation frame with this callback, and then in the callback we render, and call request animation frame again to start the process over for the next frame. So at this point we've done a whole lot of nothing, a bunch of setup, uh, but that's about it. Next step is adding a skybox using this cube map. So let's go to Google here and then type in free skyboxes. And as you can see, there's a ton of options here. I've gone ahead and downloaded one already. I've got the sides of the cube texture here and with a few lines of code, we can load these up and assign them to the background. Quick aside, for everyone who doesn't know, a cube map is just a special version of a texture, but with six sides, one for each face of a cube, and you sample it using a direction vector instead of the typical UV coordinates. Anyway, so we load the cube map here, now we load up the project, and you can spin around and look in every direction, and we've got the static sky image up. This is just a facade though, we haven't actually made anything. Just the appearance of a world, but it's just that, an appearance. So let's actually add some 3D elements to the world. To do that, we need just a few lines of code. So we'll instantiate a plane geometry and a material, and then we need to create a mesh using that geometry and the material. Just a few parameters to set, make it receive shadows, spin it to face up, and then this last line adds it to the scene. And voila, we've got a plane that could be the ground, for example. Now, back in code, let's go add some more things to the world. So we'll instantiate a box geometry, and again, create a material and a mesh, set its position, and then add it to the scene. In the world now, you have this box here. And that's it. That's how you can get started making your own 3D world in JavaScript. If this was helpful, let me know. Code's all available on GitHub, so I encourage you, definitely go and grab it, fork it, play with it, add some things to it, tell me what you did, uh, do whatever you want with it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.